How do you import a file and then scale it differently on the X versus the Y? Coming up. Hey, this is Tyler Beck with Tech and Espresso with a quick tip. So here's a question from the channel from Sarah. Sarah asked, I'm bringing in an image and I need to calibrate it, right? So let's do that. So if we go to Canvas, so if you're not familiar with this, check out this other video on how to bring in a photo and scale it in Fusion 360. So what I wanna do is uh, insert an image onto a canvas, insert onto this plane. You can see it's coming in kind of backwards so we can rotate it about that axis and then drop it in, great. So I have this wood profile here and I think what Sarah was asking is how do you calibrate it and she wanted to calibrate where, you know, maybe let's flip our units real quick. So she was asking in metric. That's how we change our units. Great. Okay. So question is if I calibrate this and in this case, she's saying, you know, this should be 15 millimeters on the width, but here's the problem. That height is too big. So she's, the canvas is going to calibrate. It's going to scale it proportionally, and that's right. So why don't we sketch some kind of like guides for our canvas so we can dial this thing in. And I think this was supposed to be like 15, but the height is supposed to drop, right, to something like, say, 13. Okay, so if we edit this canvas and we've got it snapped into place, you can see it's way too tall, but the, the width looks pretty good. So um, there's a couple ways you can scale it non-uniformly in the edit canvas dialog. So you could use this proportion, but it's really sensitive. So when I change the Y is going to be the value we don't want, right? So if we go back to one, good. Now, if I make this 0.9, and you keep working down, but as soon as I go too far, you can't just toggle it by one. It's actually already updated it dynamically. So if I go back to one, then there it is. So it is it is kind of a sensitive scaling. So I found it a little easier to drag and then reposition, and then I can zoom in to fine tune this. But this is one way that we could kind of calibrate or excuse me, you know, calibrate then scale the image to get what we want. Hopefully this helps. That's another quick tip in Fusion 360. Thanks for watching. If you have more questions, put those in the comments below. Hit that like button for me. Hit subscribe. Thanks.